My name is Yuka Otani. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. I'm an uh, artist in residence at the studio of the Corning Museum of Glass. So my first encounter with glass was uh, when I entered the college in Tokyo. I also did my MFA here in the States, so, and my major was also in glass. I think uh, glass is definitely a very attractive material. I love its transparency and I love how it's really fluid and sometimes it's really hard to control. And I'm interested in the fact that glass is often used um, as a material to mimic something, but it has rarely been a material to be mimicked. I was also interested in working with some heart candy and I just started like working. It was very tricky at the first time, but I somehow figured out the technique of how to manipulate this material, just like glass. And I think it's such an interesting parallel, you know, in between those two materials, which are completely different, but sometimes it's quite similar. But I think the um, ultimate goal with this project is um, not just making an object, but to um, try to push further on, which is to invite people um, to um, wine cocktail party and encourage people to drink out of my pieces. <laughs> I was pretty lucky to have an opportunity to work with the local arts council. They let us the, uh, use the, one of the storefronts there. I was pretty lucky to have a sponsorship from Atwater Winery, which is one of the local uh, Finger Lake wineries. And then, so they were just serving the wine um, along with my drinking glasses. They're not flavored, just to not distract the taste of the wine. I think it would be better just to eat a little bit of sweetness <laughs> to it. Um, so I think I'm a strong believer of like everything is in a fluid like state. And I like the up to make something that changes over time. And one, you know, example for that is people just biting or you know, licking into glass. <laughs> yeah, which, you know, could be kind of crazy, but yeah, I really enjoy how people interact with my piece and the kind of like surprise moment, you know, generated by the object. And so the object itself, I think, is very performative in my piece. Just being here at the studio, you know, you gain a lot of like experience and also like a lot of perspectives from the different parts of the world. And I think that kind of intermix of culture and perception, I think that's, that's really a great experience.